some balancing equation to practice them. So I've got some questions here for you. I will do a couple just to help you out. And then I will leave you to do the others. A minute or so each. So let's look at six looks reasonably difficult because there's lots of things in it. No particular reason for that other than uh, there's lots of things in it. So I've got two bromine here, one here, and one here. So that's looking good. And I've got one sodium here, one here, and one here. So I'm going to need two sodiums to balance those two. I'll have to have two over here. I've got one oxygen here and one oxygen here. And I've only got one hydrogen here, but I've got two here. So if I put a two in there, that looks like it's going to balance everything for me. So I've got two bromines, one, two. Two, two sodium, sorry, one, two. Two oxygens, one, two. Two hydrogens, two hydrogens. So that's balanced. And that's really all there is to it. Sometimes the numbers are a bit more difficult. Uh, if we did lithium, for example, uh, each lithium oxide molecule requires two lithiums and one oxygen. So I would need four lithiums to use these two oxygens. There'd have to be a two there in order to use up those two. But then I would need a four there. So I will leave you now to do the other eight of those. Stop the video, do the questions. Should take you maybe eight minutes, maybe less. Start the video once you've finished. So, the answers then. Are here. Check your answers, make sure you understand why you're wrong if you're wrong, and give yourself a pat on the back if you're right. So there you have how to balance equations.